So this week is a very big week of training. Um, I'm only training twice this week, so Wednesday I'm actually having a day off, so it's a two-day training week, but today I've got SSB for a paused single at 255 kilos, which would be a PB, and then on Friday I've got 267.5 kilos for two sets of three on deadlift, so it's going to be quite an intense week of training. I'm um, feeling a bit nervous about today's session just because naturally I'm going for a PB, so I've got to really focus and make sure that I'm on my A game. But um, it is going to be a fun session because Fraser from Marriott Performance is going to be coming down to Trojan. I think he's already at the gym, so I'm going to meet up with him and I think he's squatting as well. So I haven't seen him for a long time, so hopefully it's a good session. So uh, yeah, let's get to the gym and get it done. <laughs> Thank you. 
another steak. Um, so it's Thursday today, which is a few days after Monday session where I managed to get a new personal best on my squat of 255 kilos and it's honestly probably one of the best squat sessions I've ever had. Even though it's not like an overall um, personal best on my squat, uh, just the fact it was SSB, it was paused, it was good atmosphere in the gym, just absolutely loved it. And it was really nice to train with Fraser as well because I haven't trained with him for a little while and he's actually jet-setted halfway across the world, well, the other side of the world to Australia now, so he arrived there today. Uh, and he's spending two years there, so it was nice to see him before he headed off there. I know he's been wanting to go there for a long time, so I'm happy for him that he's managed to finally get there. Uh, but yeah, obviously had a rest day in the week, so yesterday I was meant to train but didn't, and I kind of feel like it's been a little bit counterproductive because my energy levels are so low, but I think it doesn't help at the fact that I've just been eating like crap as well. So yesterday it was my brother's birthday and we ordered a really big Chinese, so I couldn't really say no to that, but... I've just been eating crap in general, that's just a bit of an excuse. But uh, yeah, it has been affecting my energy level, so I'm really keen to get back to basics, so that's why I'm just having a steak and some fruit salad. So this is just fruit salad with yogurt and a bit of honey. So I do find when I just like eat really basic and like relatively healthy food, so good probiotics in the yogurt and that sort of thing, it boosts up my energy. So I'll have this for a few days just to sort of reset myself a little bit. And then hopefully I'll have enough energy for tomorrow. I'm going to be going for another PB on the deadlift at 267.5 kilos. Okay, so it is Friday today. Um, I have come and gone from the gym. Um, obviously the fact that I'm talking to you now is an indicator that the session didn't go very well. Um, obviously on Monday I mentioned the fact that uh, I tied up my glute. Um, I was hoping it would be okay today, but unfortunately it wasn't. So um, I got to around about 245 kilos on the deadlift, um, only to realise that yeah, um, my glute was in no fit state to be uh, getting loaded, so I had to drop the weight. Um, and it's pretty sore now, it's pretty um, tender, even like walking upstairs and stuff, but uh, what's more annoying is just the fact it is another injury, another setback to contend with, uh, and yeah, I just wanted to get on the camera and kind of vent a little bit and just sort of express my frustrations at it because, yeah, it's super annoying because I felt like I was really at a point in my training where everything was going super well, obviously apart from my bench, but my bench is never going well, um, where my squat and my deadlift were just progressing to a point where it's the strongest it's ever been. And then obviously I have a little setback, which, you know, happens in the strength game. And I do understand that, but it seems to be more frequent now than ever before. Um, and obviously I am pushing to the point where I am really pushing the limits, I guess, with my strength. So... It is to be expected, but it doesn't mean it's any less annoying when injuries do actually occur. So, yeah, I am annoyed because um, I wanted to look at doing a competition in the summer and I'm genuinely starting to think that maybe my body isn't ready to do that. Um, but yeah, just, just annoyed really because... If I want to get deep about this, like lifting, like I think for, for a lot of people, is very closely linked to my identity. And when I'm in the gym and lifting weights, my confidence is sky high and that um, can transcend the gym. So when I'm out just in general life, um, I can carry that confidence with me a little bit. So when I get injured and I feel like I can't do the things that I can normally do in the gym, that also affects me and I carry that outside of the gym as well. Um, so right now I'm feeling very deflated, low, um, I feel like my confidence has been knocked and this maybe just says something about me as a person and my personality and I completely own that and I can take ownership of that because it's what makes me me. So I'm not going to shy away from the fact that I'm feeling a bit crap at the moment, I'm just going to accept that that's who I am and that's how this has made me feel. Um, but I do realise that as sort of the um, days go by and as I start to get better again, that will start to come back. But right now, in this moment, I'm just feeling rubbish. Um, obviously being very pessimistic and venting, so just wanting to quit powerlifting and just throw it all in and think, what is the point in doing this when I just keep getting injured? But I do keep reminding myself that that's not what... Um, my ment mentality should be and it's not what has got me to the point where I am now anyway. 
um, and that is overcoming obstacles and like I've mentioned before in previous videos that's what the Phoenix does represent in Phoenix Fitness um, it is rising from the ashes that classic analogy uh, and it's very true it's whenever you have a setback it's not just giving up it's uh, coming again and getting stronger so that's what I will do but right now that's just not how I feel and I completely um, am fine with that I understand that I'm gonna feel crap because any injury sucks um, and when I said obviously like I said when it's so closely linked to my identity and how I can carry that in life um, yeah it's hard to not um, get down about that just in general life so yeah I'll get better um, I'll be fine um, it's just you know I'm just kind of yeah talking I guess about it um, albeit to a camera um, but uh, this is my way of maybe dealing with things sometimes I just get the camera out and I talk into it so that's what I'm doing and yeah hopefully it helps I don't know you know, talking is obviously important, so that is just literally what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, it's not that deep. It's literally just an injury. There's bigger and more important things going on in life, you know, in general around the world. So um, I'm not catastrophizing it, but obviously in my own head, my own reality, it just is rubbish right now. But yeah, we move on. Um, we'll just take it one session at a time. Obviously, I'm going to have to bring the weights right back again. Um, which is fine, I just have to rebuild and um, we'll work our way back up again but uh, yeah, as for now, I'm going to sign out the video obviously it's not the video I wanted to make I wanted to be able to talk about getting new PBs this week or getting two new PBs and that is obviously one of the positives I was able to get a PB earlier in the week um, but now I just need to refocus my attention on healing up, getting better and going again so apologies, this video has now come across as quite self-indulgent and mopey and that sort of thing. But uh, if you can take anything away from it, that is, you know, if you are feeling a bit rubbish, for whatever reason, big or small, make sure that you're uh, communicating that with those around you and just being open about how you're feeling because it's very quick, these sort of things, albeit very small, they can build up. So it's better to just get them out early. And um, that's what I find anyway. So uh, yeah, and just remember that, you know, no matter what adversity you face, um, again, big or little, it can be as little as this, just getting a little injury and being annoyed about it or other bigger things going on in your life. Things will get better, you just have to focus on working hard and getting through them. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, parting message there. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video for what it is anyway. Please leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.